Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode we finished our various wars for Corsica and Sardinia, and we also finished our revocation of Jerusalem. But we still have some administrative issues to deal with here, why don't you just stay here? We'll send the boats around to pick you up. Okay, so we've asked the people to convert over there that we need to. We also need to ask this guy to converse, which he will be happy to do since we granted him a title. Okay, so let's wait until we hear back from those people. Uh, was that all of them? Well, he's converted at least. Let's see if we can grant him the kingdom title now, perhaps as a vice royalty. So he'll get most of the land he's supposed to, barring this county for some reason. Oh, he is revolting. Well, I assume that once that revolt ends, he'll go back under Jerusalem. If not, we can just transfer the vassalage, so we'll just go ahead and grant the kingdom to this guy. Okay, that's fine. Over here, we were not able to transfer the vassalage of this guy under his rightful duke uh, for whatever reason. Let's have one more look. It might be because he's at war or something. Mm, doesn't seem to be there. Okay. Well, we'll probably just go ahead and create the kingdom of Sardinia here and grant it to somebody. And I guess we'll grant it to this guy. As a vice royalty, is it powerful enough to warrant being granted as a vice royalty, or can we just let it be hereditary? Yeah, we'll leave it as a vice royalty, that's fine. We'll grant that to him. Uh, did he not gain this guy as a vassal? Funny, they were highlighted on the map, okay. Well, he gained the guy in Cagliari, at least. He probably desires control of those if he doesn't have them. Oh, he wants the Duchy of Corsica. Ah, we have that, don't we? Well, here's what we'll do. We'll grant the Duchy to one of these people. Probably why they didn't automatically get transferred under him anyway. And then we'll transfer that duchy under him, which hopefully we're able to do. Okay, so there's still some holdings in here that are owned by somebody else, Genoa, which we'll have to take care of at some point. But for now, um, I think that pretty much takes care of everything we needed to do. So we'll have to just hope that he is going to demand conversion of this guy at some point. Which I don't think he can do until he is of age, but that will happen in time. And eventually we should have Jerusalem properly controlled by an orthodox character. We're up to 92% moral authority anyway. We have partial control over Jerusalem. Okay, that's pretty good. We can start moving towards Alexandria, perhaps. It's fascinating, isn't it? Some of the women in your court would go to extreme lengths to lighten their skin in order to look more beautiful. The faintest sign of a tan is considered a terrible, terrible thing, fit only for lowly, filthy peasants. Who have to toil out in the sun all day long. After all, only a completely insane and barbaric society would ever consider tanned skin attractive and fashionable. Uh, we can say that we hate women with tanned skin. Gaining prestige, we can be more concerned about our courtier's vanity. We would probably become a prude, giving us extra piety. Or we can say, tans can be beautiful, not that I have abnormal tastes, we'd maybe become kind, which I think we're already kind? No, we're not, okay. 
kind would be fine. Though content would be pretty bad. Especially since it would cancel out ambitious. Or we can say, I admit it's unusual, even deviant maybe, but I like tanned skin. Which would give us uh, less diplomacy, more intrigue. Uh, let's see. I don't know, maybe we'll risk becoming content. And we gain kind, which is good for our diplomacy at least. And vassal opinion. Okay, so for our next wars, uh, let's take a look at our Imperial Reconquest. Uh, it's still a pretty long list, so not making a huge impact on it yet, so let's see. I guess we'll just pick whoever we don't have truces with. Still Bohemia, still the Seljuks. All of the people in Corsica and Sardinia. We still have a truce with Egypt. Hmm. We have truces with most of the people that we want to fight. Uh, do we have CBs on the remainder of Croatia? Only via a claim. I guess we could do that. I assume she's our vassal. Uh, what about the Holy Roman Empire? We can certainly do Imperial Reconquest on them. That might be a good target for our next war. We could do something over here. I don't think we have a truce with Venice either. We take Istria. Or we could just take this land down here in Italy declare on this guy as well. Assuming we don't have a truce. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to war with them many times, it looks like. So we can declare for Urbino right now. I guess we can declare on maybe Genoa and anyone else who happens to be around here and is independent. Seems reasonable. In fact, it's probably not even that big a deal to go to war against the HRE at this point since they've lost so much land. Okay. Let's do it. We'll take Urbino. We'll do Ravenna against you. Uh, Bohemia, unfortunately, we have a truce with. This is still under Bohemia, right? Yeah. You are independent. We'll take your land. You're a republic. That's fine. We'll take it anyway. We'll take your land. Genoa... Actually, not insignificant. They have about 10,000 troops, but we should be able to handle that, I think. Imperial Reconquest of there or there? I guess we'll just take their capital, even though it's only a single county. Since it's adjacent to some of the other land we're taking. And I guess we'll declare on Venice, too. Okay, I think that's about everybody in this area. Let's raise the troops. So, some of these people have had some time for their opinions to improve. I think we should be okay. We're... Yeah, we unfortunately have the powerful Duke of Havar. In a faction again, even though he's at 92 opinion. I guess I'll just send him a gift, see if that gets him out. I think maybe the next time we're at peace we'll try to revoke a title from him and fight him and get rid of his anomalous 20,000 troops that way. Since uh, it is kind of a problem. Okay, for now though we'll just concentrate on this war. Or these wars. A pretty large army from Genoa there. That's, I think, the majority of their troops. We need to be a bit careful about merging our men together over here. 
we should be able to get them down here pretty safely. 16 men there. Uh, we can put this 200 on the boats. I guess it doesn't matter too much, but may as well keep them. Okay, we'll have everybody else... Well, let's see. Everybody to here, I suppose. Start marching to a fairly central location, and we can transport them by boat. And... We'll assume that we won't need the rest of them. So we'll just disband them. Uh, I accidentally selected too many there. I still had the original troop selected, which I do not want to disband. Okay. That should be fine. Uh, Corsica and Sardinia... Not many troops there. We'll just disband them too. Okay, let's get started. My prisoner is complaining, we'll let her rot, and also... Uh, we can't ransom prisoners by, via the button at this point, so we'll... I guess we'll go through here manually and I'll just ransom any landed characters since we can probably use the money. We're going to be supporting our domain troops. And perhaps even reinforcing our retinue, which is going to be expensive. Our grandson asks, if a tree falls in the woods and there's nobody there to hear it, does it make a noise? Uh, we'll try to make him diligent. Which we did, great. So he is turning out pretty well. I'm um, thinking about it though, I guess it's not really a problem. It's so going back to something I was talking about a few episodes ago. Uh, it's not really a problem if we do inherit as Maximus because um, if our wife is still of an age where she can bear children, we can just divorce her and ensure that we don't have any more children that way. That way we make sure that we will be playing as Simakos. Though I'd rather just inherit directly as him, so we have to go through fewer successions. So I'm still gonna keep trying to get Maximus killed. just by putting him in slightly dangerous situations. But I'm not going to be too worried about it. You wish to intercede on behalf of one of our prisoners? Eh, uh, sure. Okay, so we are getting quite a few troops gathered together here. Let's raise various boats from around this area. Mm, should be plenty. I think we had we should have our troops in Italy gathered together so we can start heading up here. I think we'll just go and attack the Genoese army. They're in the plains. We can go in from Volterra and not take any river crossings. Uh, we'll just leave these people in charge. We got Maximus in there. Uh, 
and we'll get our first batch of troops transported over here. We might not even see any armies from the HRE since they are still presumably busy with various things. Hmm, not that many things, actually. The Georgian Revolt wants to marry his heir to a courtier of mine, which I guess I'll just accept. Subject has converted, that's good. Oh, France is having another revolt up there, it looks like. About Crown Authority. Okay. this army split up and start sieging things here. Uh, we don't actually outnumber the army here by much. I think we should be okay, though. And we have a lower crown authority faction ourselves. Uh, they do have a decent commander in the doge. Seems to be going okay. Hungary has been called in. Uh, that's a problem. There was a large Hungarian army down here, which is now fighting our army. Fortunately, we have reinforcements right next door, so we can hopefully get them in in time. Let's get good leaders in charge, too. Get you guys on the way in, also. Okay, they're just about to arrive. Uh, you'll be there tomorrow as well, okay. So we now have the numbers on our side and we should win this battle. Looks like we're going to win against Genoa as well. Okay, that got us to 79% already there, that's pretty good. We'll follow his army and hopefully destroy it. Let's send the boats back for another load of troops. This duke is happier, that's good. For culture tech, I think we'll just get... Majesty. Okay, 37% war score from that battle and another few percent against Genoa as well. So I don't want to send this 8,000 up here to start sieging by themselves since we could see an army from the HRE and they would uh, probably have a bad time. So instead, we'll just keep them down here for the moment. We should be able to finish the war against this guy at least pretty pretty quickly. Uh, hopefully this battle will be just fine here. can actually see it. There we go. No leaders in charge, unfortunately, but... Ooh, and there is the HRE. Okay. So I think we'll let them engage in this battle. Then send our troops in. I think this army is where our leaders were appointed, so... Yeah, that should be fine. 
Uh, we'll send in the other 6,000 over here as well. And we'll get the rest of our troops on their way over. Lost a siege there, apparently. Okay. Okay, so no problem in this battle. Gets us another 23% war score. Okay, so... I think we should be able to have enough troops now to march up here, especially considering we've taken out a lot of the HRE army. Uh, we should probably take care of this Venetian army at some point also. Might try to end a couple of these quickly and free up some men for that, but we're just about out of time for this episode, so it'll have to wait for next time. Thanks for watching, and join me again then!